Hey everyone, it's Rock for Cash, the People's Champ, coming to you live from Cash Stadium. And here we go, finals are about to start, week 14 of the FNFL. Yeah, these bottom eight teams are all fighting out now to uh, go up against the top four that'll be played next week. The bottom four from this week, the losers from this week, will be fighting it out for the uh, the Sacco and the Finkel. So it's going to be a very interesting uh round of games indeed so let's get cracking but before we do we always want to thank team Mazza for his song and this week he's put a little bit of thought into it this week i think he's uh he's picked lose yourself by eminem uh, he told me it's just something for uh, people just to sit back listen to and think about because really you only get one shot so pretty much this is it fnfl finals you only get one shot, so you better make it uh, count. So sit back and enjoy this song. Alrighty, the first game. We have Little River Giants hosting Mitch's Mongrels. Mitch's Mongrels, big trip down to Lara this time. Uh, headed down to Werribee last week, Lara this week. They're getting used to these uh, trips outside the inner city. And um, basically, they're favourites to win this game. Computer has them at 96.66. Uh, to beat the Little River Giants, 91.05. Now, these guys have played each other seven times in the uh, over the years. And uh, Mitch's Mungles are leading four games to three. Interesting though, they've only played each other once this season um, and that was a win to Mitch's Mungles in round three. It's interesting, The uh, like I said, the computer's got the Mungles winning this game. They've finished seventh at the end of the season. Little River Giants, tenth. Um, look, Little River Giants are going to need everything to go right for them in this game. Let's be, let's be fair income. Roethlisberger's going to have a big game. Gurley's going to have a big game. Cooks is going to have a big game. Mitch's Mongrels, he's got the Mahomes train. He's travelling beautifully at the moment. Mike Evans, Odell Beckham's back in a little bit of form. So with all that said, Cash is going to stick with Mitch's Mongrels in this game. You can see that... Um, you know, they're, they're, they're a smartly coached team um, coming good at the right end of the season. And I think they'll uh, account for Little River Giants in the next game. Seems like we're playing this game every week. Shiva Kamini against Team Mazza in the Brothers Cup. Um, last week, Shiva caused a bit of an upset. 22-point win over Team Mazza. Dropped them out of the top four, making them play this week. He's not happy about that. He um, really, really wants to win. Wants to get to a point where he goes up against his new arch nemesis, the Browns. Uh, seems like the Kelpies are yesterday's news in regards to arch nemesis. The new arch nemesis, the Browns. Mazza's uh, wanting to play them uh, next week, and he will do so if he wins this game. Now, these guys have played each other 11 times. Shiba Kamini's up seven games to four. The computer has this one with Team Mazza win 85.31 to Shiba Kamini 72.06. You know, there's so much pressure on Team Mazza. He's got the train back on the rails. Uh, hasn't left the station yet. It's been derailed for the last two weeks. But um, he's very, very keen to bounce back and win this game. Interestingly enough, they've played each other twice um, this year. Nickety only won four games, but he beat Team Mazza both times in round four and round 13. So has has Nickety got the wood over Team Mazza or will Team Mazza bounce back this week? That's the question that needs answering and I think The Rock can answer it here. Team Mazza have been the better team all year uh, over Shiva Kamini. Team Mazza did finish fifth. Uh, Shiva Kamini finished last. And I think that's where the difference is. I think last week was a little bit of a, a glitch in the matrix, if you like. 
Um, so I can see Team Mazza bouncing back this week and setting up that dream clash next week against the Browns. In the next game, the Fanny Cup's back up for grabs again. Uh, little Waiters and Smooth Criminal. Um, these guys have played each other six times with Little Waiters leading five games to one. Uh, the end of the season, Little, little Waiters finished in ninth spot and uh, Smooth Criminal in eighth spot, only separated by points four. So very, very evenly matched teams in this one. Um, the computer has Smooth Criminal up 94.47 to Little Waiters 80.67. And I think that's the way it's going to go. I think Jordan's just been a bit better team this year than, um, than Danielle. Um, but it's going to be really close. Look, this is one that could go either way. The cash is going to tip Smooth Criminal only because they finished higher on the ladder, but it wouldn't surprise me if Little Waiters keeps upsetting uh, the Smooth Criminal and getting the chocolates in this one. But like I said, I think that the Smooth Criminal uh, will get both hands on the fanny this week and uh, just won't let go and will enjoy uh, time with the fanny cup. Uh, in the final game, um, we've got the Kelpies up against Moneymakers 7. Um, these guys have played each other 10 times. The Kelpies are up 6 games to 4. Um, the Kelpies finished in 6th spot, losing their last 2 games. Could have easily finished in the top 4. Uh, Moneymakers finished 2nd last in 11th spot. Computer has this one. Uh, high scoring game, the Kelpies up 105.34 to the Smooth Criminal 98.21. Um, these guys have played each other twice uh, this year, and again, interestingly, um, Money Makers who won five games this year but beat the Kelpies both times in round one and in round 12. So Look, it's, it's going to be interesting. Have the Kelpies uh, gone off the rails with um, their last two losses? Big loss last week to Young Remix Killers by over 50 points. Uh, look, Cash isn't sure on this one. He always likes to tip an upset, so let's go. Mickety to win this one by a few points. Sending the Kelpie down to Sacco land where he's going to have to battle to stay out of the Sacco. So in a nutshell, I think Mitch's Mongrels will beat Little River Giants. I think Team Mazza will beat Shiva Kamini. I think that uh, Smooth Criminal will beat Little Waiters. And I think Moneymaker 7 will beat the Kelpies. So that's pretty much it for uh, the preview of week 14, the first week of the finals. Um, have a good week, everyone. Um, first game of week 14 is on tomorrow. Um, it's the Jaguars against the Titans. It's going to be a shit game. Don't know why they put these shit games on, but I suppose they don't know they're going to be shit at the start of the season when they make the fixture. And the uh, final game of the round on the Tuesday, the Minnesota Vikings will take on the Seattle Seahawks. So... Best of luck to all the teams that are in the finals uh, this week. Um, enjoy the break, Rock for Cash, the Browns. Enjoy the break, uh, Young Remix Killers, and also Father Cull at Archie's All Stars. So that, with that said, uh, possibly have an interview or two this uh, this weekend. We've got um, catching up with Shiva Kamini um, on the Saturday and uh, <coughs> Team Mazza, who will officially move into Team Mazza Stadium in Bendigo on this weekend as well. So I might catch up with him as well, have a couple more interviews, see how they're feeling in their match. And uh, yeah, so with that, again, have a great week of FNFL guys, and I'll talk to you all on Tuesday with my review of this round. All right, have a good one. That's a cash out.